Right, boys. So I know this story may feel and like, you know, to me, whenever I imagine it, it gives me more of like a, maybe like a Cyberpunk 77 or like a Shadowrun feel. But watch to the end and tell me it's not Mel Your Solid fan fiction. Like, it's Mel Your Solid fan fiction. It is what it is. But it's very interesting, and, you know, I'm a bit of a Mario Gear Solid fag myself. So, you know, look, I enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. Let's get into this, and we'll see you at the end of the video. Be me. Genetically modified cyborg and tech freak engineer. Emotionally troubled thanks to those modifications. Also a complete newbie. Be not me. Experienced player, gory crooker. Teacher, scientist, and stockbroker. Not good at shitting, but good at talking. Be also not me. Newbie player, Carl. Mercenary and vehicle nut. Good for shooting and piloting, not good for talking. First big story after a few introduction sessions. Finding a lost colony. Meet NPC, Henry, who offers to travel with us and provide us with fuel. Ship is a big type 9, one of the largest cargo ships, filled with fuel. Ship is also a bit old and faulty. DM described this, so we can't have a high-end ship so early on in the game. Reactor safety shutdown is faulty and whatnot. Cheaper to rebuy the whole ship than to repair the update it. Travel through super cruise for weeks. We find an anomaly, some gravity stuff. Not a visible planet, not a black hole. Scanners still work fine. Fire projectile and notice that we accelerate towards something. Planet pops up as we enter the atmosphere. Roll for piloting to see if you crash. We all make the roll, except our NPC Henry. Henry panics, hides an attempt inside his ship. We land. Landing gear is a bit damaged. Henry crashes. We hear screams. Henry screams. Exiting the ship and see huge reptiles attacking him. Shitty time. Reptiles die. Henry is wounded. Gory can't save him, not even with my help. I mercy kill him with a laser between his eyes. Poor Henry. I like that guy. Take his corpse inside his ship. Place him in a seat. He would have wanted to die in the ship. Take some old books and whiskey from his ship to remember him. Also connect my comm link to his console. Might need a nav beacon soon. Ace the roll. Full access to all systems. Nice. More stuff happens in the jungle. Huge spiders, weird plants. Damage my hands. Fast forward. We find a city. City is populated by cyborgs. Usually cyborgs are shunned. So this was a bit weird. Greeted by a cyborg with a mini gun in his arm. My cybernetics get disabled with a device. Our ships get taken away from us. Get stripped searched and given a room with weird food, free to roam the city. Security enters and drops several dozen balls on the ground. Oh shit, turns out he is a good guy and works for the rebels. Government enslaves population through cybernetics and drugs, inside the food. Spit out, visit the city, see a few cybernetic shops. Terrorists attack them all, sneak to a console, hack it, activate fire extinguishers, delete camera footage. Police is dead by now, guy greets us. It's the rebels. They are a few days too early. Bring us to their hideout. Get new hands with advanced nano cyber tech. Nanites jack into my brain to let me feel through the new hands. Don't like it. Can I disable this? Jammer on my arm causes panic. It's a tracking beacon too. Removes it. Free to use cybernetics again. Evacuate but leave a surprise. Rig several fuel tanks with explosives. Big tanks. No one checked the surrounding areas. Imagine Star Wars Coruscant. Huge skyscrapers. Rich upper level, poor lower levels. We are in the basement. Kaboom! Seems like the fuel is a bit more explosive than the ones we know. Whole building collapses. New hideout. Rebel tells us he had family there. Can't comfort him by telling him that they probably died fast due to the huge amount of steel and concrete crushing them. Tell him they could also be alive somewhere inside these millions of tons of rubble. He breaks down. I can't understand why. Need to come up with a plan to take down the government. I have a nuke. DM's face when I said that. Well, you told me the ship's reactor is faulty and has no safety shutdown. It's filled with fuel and you gave me full access to the systems. DM's reaction. Okay, you have a nuke. What do you do with it? And for how long had you planned this? Initially, I wanted to detonate it right where it is, as a distraction to get our ships back. Hideout gets attacked again. No bomb this time. Take some weapons with us, some rifles, grenades and a missile launcher. Gory gets shot, heavily wounded and barely alive. Carl steals the vehicle, finally feels useful. Find a dead end. Hope we can get into the upper level through a building. Rig the vehicle with explosives and enter the building. A few minutes later, 
Kaboom. Special forces outside want us to come out. Guy opens door. Aims shotgun at me. Not today. Disarm him. Steal his shotgun and give it to Gory because I can't use those primitive kinetics. I'm sorry, but whoever the fuck decided to call the target Gory is absolutely <laughs> fucking weak. Let's be serious. Special forces run up the stairs. We enter the attic. Dead end. They throw a grenade. We throw it back. Kaboom. More dead. I start punching a wall to get through. Other side of it is the living room of a completely terrorised family. Should I execute the kid too? I ask Gory. Jesus fuck. Gory holds me back. Shout at them to hide somewhere else. Throw their furniture in front of the hole. Cybernetic arms are nice. Need to upgrade them someday. Down again. See hover jet in front of us. Carl aims the missile launcher and downs it, without destroying it. Board the jet, see the pilot. Any last words? They're here! Send reinforcements to pew! Pew pew pew! pew, pew. Get down, finger guns. <laughs> My laser fries his brain. Operators panic. Crush the headset. Search for tracking beacon. Carl suspects it in the back. Natural one. I know better as I worked on ships my whole life. Beacon is integrated into the black box. Almost shot him because he would have triggered a lockdown. Find black box under a pilot seat. Take it. Crush the pilot's ribcage with it. Rip off his cybernetic arm to steal his ID. And drop his body out. Travel through city again. Find shady looking Chinatown. Meet local Yakuza. Try to impress them with my laser. Modulate it to penetrate the security guard shields. Gory analyzes the patterns. I modify it. Success for team science. Take us to Big Boss. Make deal with him. He is impressed and offers us equipment and manpower. If we promise him to secure a seat in the new government. Right, I'm sorry boys, but is this some from your fucking shitty Metal Gear Solid fan fiction we've just got <laughs> into? Whatever, let's do this. Give us some rifles. All kinetic. Can't use them. Take a nano sword instead. Oh fuck, I didn't hear as well. Jesus Christ, Metal Gear Solid 2 all over again. <laughs> Carl takes a grenade launcher. I'm a ninja now. Oh Jesus Christ, the night. <laughs> fuck me. Time to achieve the nuclear protocol. Aced it. Huge ship slowly flies towards city. City security can't penetrate shields or hull. Want to open a comms channel. Respond. Terror when they see a rotting, mangled corpse in the sea. Kaboom again. Civilians nearby too. Need to get our ships back. Yakuza create another distraction at the main entrance. Right, I'm just saying, this is fucking Mel Yourself fan fiction. Going through ventilation shafts, <laughs> nano machines, big boss, fucking light and knock off. Right, I'm just putting it in your voice. <laughs> we enter through a ventilation system. Have a few child cyborg Yakuza's with us. Grenade lands near us. Carl throws child NTS. <laughs> Fwomp. Flashbang. Children are pissed. Kill a few guards before we find the control room. Throw smoke grenades in and bluff that we are with them. They activate the ventilation. Aim weapons at them. Gory persuades them to help us. They deactivate the hangar weapon system. Open the next room to get our ships. Officer and full body cyborg inside. Oh shit. I sprint forward and slice the officer open. Officer goes down, but not dead. Children cripple the cyborg. He threatens to self-destruct. We back away. Carl takes Child as human shield. Child had enough and kicked him into the room with the cyborg. Carl takes down the cyborg alone, disables the lockdown and self-destruct. No idea how he managed that. Gory helps the officer. Officer is thankful and offers to help us, if we take him and his family with us. Seems like he is just another unhappy guy here. Accept it. Take cyborg with me. Want to analyse his body because my new nanite hands caused a malfunction with my genetic modification, slowly killing me by rejecting my organic parts. Oh my god, he's actually down to Fox Day as well. Right, okay, if any boys in the comments <laughs> are a big fan of Mel Your Solid and don't know what I'm on about, tell me this isn't fucking Mel Your Solid fan fiction out here. Fast forward. We leave the planet behind, sell research data. Get our own station which we call Ground Zero. Oh my god, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Took several of the technicians with us. I get a new body with my mind transferred to a synthetic brain. Is that, did oh that not what? <laughs> that is, it's with the starter Mallory Solid 5. Which caused new problems. Moral conflicts as I don't know if I'm still me or just a machine that thinks it is. Can't I feel, feel anymore. Legs. Can't eat. <laughs> can't sleep. But I can now cloak myself. Because I'm a ninja now. My DM told me that on that day I killed around 130k civilians. 100k in the skyscraper and 30k through the nuke. 
DM later told me that if it would be d and I would be chaotic evil by now. Started as true neutral. Gory would be lawful evil and Carl would be a chaotic neutral. In character, we all agree that Carl is the bad guy of us because he was a pirate once. Well, I did, you know, say I think this is Metal Gear Solid fan fiction. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with having a bit of Metal Gear Solid fan fiction. But it is what it is, you know. <laughs> um, you know, you've got nukes, you've got nano machines, you got, like, tell me that wasn't Ground false Eye, Ground Zero, you know, come on here. It definitely fan fiction, like. But hey, I wouldn't say no to that. And it seems like an interesting game, so it does. So, like, no, hey. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe. Look, we're all close to the 100,000 mark. And, Woo! like, you know, put it like this. Whenever that silver play button comes in, I'm going to take a picture with my balls on it and put it on <laughs> Discord. So, like, you know, you guys want to see that shit? <laughs> Do you guys want to see that shit? I would post it on Twitter and stuff, but I'll probably get banned. So, like, you know, like, as always, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Like, hit the fucking subscribe. Just fucking do it, me, please. I really need this play button. <laughs> All right, I really do. But, like, anyway, gambled enough. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you later. Bye. All those moments will be lost in time.